Hello everyone and welcome to DMP Online tutorial on setting up DMP Online. In this short video today, I'll explain how to create a template. I'll explain different parts that are building blocks for templates, such as faces, sections and questions. And we'll go step by step about how to go about creating our own templates. In order to enter the template interface, you have to have the admin privileges and through the admin tab, you click here on the templates and it will take you into this window. In here, you will click on create a template and you will name your template. So I'll say this is the MP online tutorial video on creating a template just for the tutorial purposes. And here you can add a description and hit save. A template can have one or more phases. For example, you may have an initial DMP that is created at the proposal stage and full DMP, which is completed during the project. Templates are usually divided into a number of sections, each with a few questions. So first, let's give the, this phase a name. Most templates only have a single phase. If this is the case, we recommend using the title data management plan. Multi-phase templates are useful if a data management plan is required at different stages of a project, for example, before the project begins or after the data have been collected and deposited in a repository. Once you have created a phase, you must add at least one section by clicking the headed bar to add a new section. Sections are useful for grouping related questions, for example, multiple questions about ethics policies. However, the overall structure of your template is up to you. So as an example, I'm going to create a section which will have just questions around the data collection. And I'll say these are questions around the data collection. And I hit save. And now I'll add all of my questions I want to ask about the data collection. So I hit here, add question, and here you can see it's saying the question number, the question text, answer format. You can also hit enter here, default answer, example answer, and guidance. So I'm going to, for example, ask what data will you collect or create? I say that I want this to be a text area. I'll offer a guidance as well for my users directly in this template. And I hit save. So once you're happy with your template and you edit all the phases and phase questions and all the sections which you wanted your template to have, you have to go back to the template page and we have to go back here, and this is the template which we were working on. And here you can see it is unpublished. So I go here into actions. I hit here on publish. And now even here you get a notice your template has been published and is now available to users. And it has changed in here as well. It's saying we have published this template on the 28th of July, 2020. You can also uh, do changes to your existing template uh, by going into edit and let's say you have decided to um, add a new section for example about the ethics so after you edit the changes you will have to go back to the templates page and you will see that although here it's established there is this new icon uh, and that explains to you that there are unpublished changes which we're doing around the ethics so we'll have to go now back into actions and i'll have to hit here publish changes and now we published our template with all of the changes which we wanted to add if you want to create a template uh, that is similar to our existing template you can also hit just copy and this automatically creates like a copy of the template. And if this is based on your previous one and has just few changes, this will be much more easier to edit for you. 
So I hope you have enjoyed this video and do not forget that if there's anything specific you wish us to explain, please get in touch with us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk, subscribe to our monthly newsletter and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn to keep up to date with our most recent work.